This video shows soldiers firing at civilian protesters outside an airbase northwest of Ankara last Friday night. The demonstrators had flooded into the streets to show their support for Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan. Now the government is purging thousands of opponents, nearly 20,000 soldiers and police, and members of the civil service and judiciary have been detained or suspended. But their main opponent is Muslim cleric Fethullah Gulen, and he lives in the U.S. Turkish President Ben Ali Yildirim has called on the U.S. to hand him over. We will be disappointed if our American friends tell us to show proof, even though members of the assassin organization are trying to destroy an elected government. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says the U.S. is willing to help, but cautioned Ankara to observe the rule of law. We will certainly support bringing the perpetrators of the coup to justice, but we also caution against a reach that goes well beyond that. Turkey is a member of NATO and one of Washington's most powerful Muslim allies. Western officials worry Erdogan is using the coup to consolidate his power and further a process of stifling dissent which has already caused tensions with Europe.